system. I've never seen Kate open up like this. So in short, you're breaking up with Kula so she can be safe. You think you can live with that? It's a heavy burden. Trust me. Stop talking like we're a couple, okay? I've made my decision. So just drop it. Okay, I won't talk about it. I ain't your dad. And I can't tell you what to do. But let me tell you the story of this guy I know. He was a proud Canadian soldier who had great friends and a wonderful woman that he was engaged with. When the woman said yes, it was the happiest moment of his life. But then disaster occurred. The soldier's best friend was captured by an evil organization. The soldier offered to aid his best friend, but his superiors warned him that the mission was considered suicide. And if the soldier agreed to carry on with his mission, he would have to do it without any knowledge of his existence. The soldier agreed to those terms, but the worst part was, he had to abandon the woman that he loved. You're talking about yourself, aren't you? Yeah. I remember a few weeks after KOF 99, you watched a wedding in secret. I noticed how you were paying so much attention to the bride. She was your woman, wasn't she? Yes. Before I left for my mission, I told my woman to forget about me and start a life of her own. I knew I'd never return from that mission. It hurt so much to see her cry like that. It was the hardest thing I ever had to do. But the irony of it all, I lost my best friend. I was turned into an android, and I abandoned the woman I loved. I sacrificed so much and ended up losing everything. And the worst part of it all, this guilt that I still have to live with. I had an entire life of happiness right in front of me, and I threw it away. Maxima, why are you telling me all this? I don't know. I feel like I had to let it all out of my system. Still, when I heard what you were planning to do, it reminded me of what I've done. Look, I'm just trying to tell you to think twice about what you're doing, alright? Oh, brother. So did you talk to him? Yeah, I did. But this is the last time I play matchmaker. It gives me a headache. Well, now we are just going to have to wait until Kay stops being stubborn and makes his move. Hey, where is Kula? And where'd Diana go? They went for a walk. They said they needed some fresh air. I just hope those two stay out of trouble. The last thing I want to put up with is Hyder and the Akaris. Oh, are you really that upset that Diana might get arrested and be taken by Ralph and the others? That's not what I'm talking about. Ooh, yes it is. <laughs> oh, give me a break. Ever since we let Diana on our team, she's been nothing but a nuisance. She complains over every little thing! It's annoying! Ugh! Man, I can't even go on! She bugs the crap out of me big time! Oh, come on. You just don't understand women. I'm sure that Diana likes you. We women like to show our feelings in our own way. It's a little game we play. Well, it's no wonder people say women are the great mysteries of the universe. Okay, then. Tell me one thing that shows that Diana actually cares about me. Come on, name one thing. Duh. She keeps calling you Max all the time. A cute little pet name she gave you. Hey! I am not a pet! And that proves nothing. Oh, yes it does! For crying out loud! <laughs> well, anyway, why must she be like this? I know she joined our team because of Kula, and I never saw her treat treat us like enemies, and... Oh, man, I... I don't even know what, 
what I'm saying or where I'm getting at. All I know is she drives me crazy. But one thing is for sure, she's definitely not used to living a normal life. And most of the time she's just getting nervous over every little thing! And are you surprised by that, Maxima? I thought you already figured why. Uh, is this another woman mind game? Think about this for a minute. Diana lived her entire life in nests ever since she was a little girl. What did you do when you were little? I was struggling to get some food in my mouth. <laughs> that is true, but I realize something when I look in Diana's eyes. She had the same eyes I had when I was in nests over the care of Chrysalid. But it wasn't hate nor despise that consumed her. It was fear. She feared that organization because of the inhuman experimentations and cruel acts they performed. Unlike us, Diana was always afraid to do the right thing. But she felt that she needed to do the right thing. That's why she took Kula under her wing and treated her like her daughter. Unlike Kula, she never believed that she could be free. Now with Nests gone, she's free from her chains, but she still feels like a stranger in this new world that's completely new for her. So she's frightened, so don't be so hard on Diana, okay? Are you trying to play matchmaker with me and Diana? Well, forget it. I've already felt the pain of losing one woman. I'll be damned if I ever go through that again. All you need is love. John Lennon, great singer. Shot by a fan. Very sad. Oh, this place is loads of fun. Here I am enjoying it alone. We came to Torres Vedras because of the festival that is coming. Here I am alone. Diana went for a walk, as well as Whip and Maxima and Kay. What is the point? Talk to him. Hey, Kay. You want to go to the festival that is going to be held in Torres Pedras? No. Huh? Why not? It will be exciting. There will be dancing, activities, fireworks. I said no. Don't even insist. Sure. Why is it such a bother for him to be with me? I know that at the beginning we were nothing but enemies, but after all that has happened, does he still see me like that? If that is true, why did he save me in the factory when we first fought? And why did he save me from his teammate and from K4 Knights and on him? I hardly saw him smile. To be truthful, the only time I ever saw him smile was when we walked down the beach after the defeat of nests. I remember his kind words when he said that we were finally free from nests and all those nightmares of persecution. But the only thing I have a feeling of is that I've known Kay for a very long time. I guess that is why I have fallen for him even if he is a cruel brute. Still, I only wish that he would understand my feelings. <laughs> Wait a minute, this K.I. on him! I was just looking for you. 